Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. Today I'm tying a little muddler hair daddy long legs pattern that I really love fishing in the autumn. The hook I'm using is a long shank size 12 dry fly hook from RX and the thread I'm using is UTC 70 in black. For the tag and the rib I'm using some medium sized gold and silver tinsel, I'll be using the gold side. And to dub the body I've got this hair's ear dubbing from a company called Hot Fly and you can see it's got a little bit of sparkle mixed in there as well. For the legs, I've got these pre-knotted pheasant tail legs, saves a huge amount of time. And then for the collar hackle and the body and the muddler, I'm going to use a little bit of this nice white tailed deer. To trim the deer down, it really helps having a tool like this. This one's from Stonfo. It's a razor blade holder, but it's completely adjustable and you can change the tension in the head and it can see it bends that blade and it really helps to carve these small muddler heads. So let's get started. I'm going to cast on my thread just behind the hook eye, make a few turns to secure, and then trim away with my scissors. The next material I'm going to tie in is going to be the ribbing. Like I said, I want the gold side pointing outwards, so on this dual colour tinsel, I'll tie it in with the silver side pointing towards myself. That way, when I wrap it, the gold will be pointing outwards. I'm going to run that down the length of the hook shank and ever so slightly around the bend, and park it out the way on my materials clip. Here, I've applied a little bit of tacky dubbing wax to the thread and I'm applying a little rope of my dubbing. I'm aiming to build a bit of a taper into it, slightly skinnier towards the tail, a little bit thicker towards the head end. You can see that tacky dubbing wax is really helping to hold everything in place. You can do this in multiple stages, but I'm up for a bit of a challenge today, so I'm going to try and do it all in one. I find it much easier to wrap my dubbing with the hook upside down in the vise. This is dead easy to do if you've got a rotary vise. I just find that it keeps the hook point a little bit more visible, means I don't clip it with my thread. Coming towards the end of the dubbing rope now, so I'm just spinning it a little bit flatter and taking it up towards the thorax. You can see I've left a reasonable gap there. I want to do quite a large muddler head on this fly, so I need to leave plenty of space. Now to wrap the tag, I'm just making a few extra turns of my gold tinsel down behind the body of the fly. You can do this before dubbing the body, but I think that it's just a little bit easier, saves a bit of time if you're tying up a batch of these flies and looks just as good. I'm making some fairly open wraps up the body, leaving plenty of the dubbing showing through and then keeping good tension on my thread, making two tight wraps over the front, one in front of the material and that's everything secured down so I can trim away the tinsel. I'm retracting my thread a little bit just to secure down that tag end and take my, take my thread back down towards the body. You can see you can scuff up a little bit of that hair's ear dubbing, just adds a bit of texture to the body. Here I've got a pinch of about six to eight of my of my pre-knotted legs. Now, you can see the daddy long legs only have six, but I think that it's helpful to have a couple of extra, just that way if any do come off or get bitten off, it doesn't look too sparse. And last time I checked, trout still can't count, so I don't think it matters too much. I'm working my thread back down, you can see that's built up a nice smooth thorax for me to wrap my collar over. Here I've got a length of my deer hair stacked by the tips. You can see it's a fairly big bunch. I'm going to make two loose wraps, tighten up, and then let the, let the deer hair spin. And I'm going to pack that back down towards the tail of the fly, working my way back. And you can see I'm pushing quite firmly here, because I want to get a second bunch of deer hair in in front. Now if you like your muddler heads to be a little bit sparser, some people do, you can, you can use this one bunch of deer hair and just work it a little bit more loosely up towards the head of the fly. I quite like having a fairly dense head on my flies, so what I'm going to do now is add in a second bunch of deer hair, a little bit smaller, and this time tying it in with the tips facing forwards, and again a couple of loose wraps, pull down tightly, let the hair flare out, let it spin around, this is going to create a nice even tight bunch of hair. Now you can see how much force I'm applying. I'm really trying to pack this down tightly and free up the eye of the hook. And this is why it's important to leave plenty of space, otherwise you will run out of room. And just working that hair back towards the tail of the fly, and that's enough for me to tie down. I've whip finished and cut away my thread, and now I'm using a little comb tool from Stonfo. <laughs> Probably about the best five pounds I've ever spent on my fly tying kit. I use this all the time, it's got a bit of velcro on one end and a little moustache comb on the other. It works perfectly for cleaning up deer hair, cleaning up elk hair. Really useful tool. 
I'm using my razor blade holder to start to trim down the head of the fly, working backwards, and to clear off the waste you can see I'm actually just pinging the hook a little bit. It creates the most almighty mess, it really helps to put down a bit of scrap paper or a tray first, but it clears everything out so you can see where you're going. Use a fresh blade for these, they do dull quite quickly, and it helps to get clean cuts if you've got a nice sharp edge. I'm just using the rotary function on my vise, working my way backwards, trying to protect that collar hackle, and create a nice bullet-shaped muddler head. I'll finish off the last little bit using some scissors, just to get a finer edge, make sure I don't inadvertently clip that hackle. This is a great fly to be using in the autumn when the daddies are swarming, especially with that stiff deer hair collar and that big muddler head, it shifts loads of water, it floats nicely, so pull it through the chop and you can get some really aggressive takes. You've got those long dangly legs, that big bullet-shaped muddler head. It's a great pattern to fish and a fun one to tie. So thanks for watching and give this one a go.